Hi everybody, this is Jade. Um, I'm with the Beta Lab and today I'm going to show you how to make a tabletop soccer game. So, for today's materials, we need a shoebox. So this is going to be the stadium that the soccer is going to take place. We need some kind of felt or you can use any other construction paper. I prefer it to be the color to be green because it resembles the grass. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the felt here. We need some popsicle sticks. This will be the soccer players um, that we're gonna make. These are the skewers that are gonna be the handles. We have some decorating materials. And if you see here, we have some binder clips and wheels, and I'll show you why we need them later. We need the regular um, staple, scissors, tape, or glue. And if you have some, you can use a rubber band, and we're gonna use that to make um, the ball. And then last thing you need is a pin like this. All right, so today we're going to start with the felt. I went ahead and um, kind of drew in the design, but you can draw whatever soccer field design you want. Um, here, I'll just show you really quick what I did. I drew a rectangle on both sides. These are, these are gonna be the goals of each end. And I drew a line down the middle and then drew a circle in the middle. All right, so in using the shoe box, we are going to put the field inside the box. Um, right now it's a little bit big, so I'm going to measure really quick how much I need to cut. Let me go ahead and cut the sides. Looking pretty good. Okay, now we are going to make the players, so the soccer players. Um, so I went ahead and drew a circle here, I mean, a smiley face. You can go ahead and decorate it however you want to. Um, you can draw, you can give them like a t-shirt. You can give them some pants and you can color the different players. Uh, depending on where, which team they are on. I went ahead and colored them really simply. I got my blue team, and then I have my red team. And when you're making these players, you can go ahead and add arms like these, arms and legs, using the Piper cleaners. So you can make them look like they have hands. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that with tape. Next, we are going to poke holes through the box so that these suit skewers can go in. And we're gonna create four holes on each side. And so you're gonna take your pin, place it right in here, inside the box like this. And so you'll see you have one, two, three, four. Ignore that hole. And then here you're gonna do the same thing. Once we have the tiny holes that we poked with this pin, you are going to take your skewers and poke it to make a bigger hole. So let me go ahead and do that all, all around. Looks like we have our eight holes here and eight holes here. Next, we are going to um, place the soccer players on the skewer. So when you do this process, um, kind of imagine where the soccer player needs to be placed. So for example, if I poke a skewer down the hole, maybe my soccer player, just measure where the soccer player 
hits the ground versus where it hits the skewer. It looks like it's right there in his belly. So I'm gonna take that spot, take back the skewer, and tape him right where he needs to be. So taking my skewer, I'm putting a tape around And when you put the tape, make sure you secure it really, really well because if you don't, your soccer player won't have that sturdiness to push. Just like that. Yep. And this will go inside the box. Just like this. So let me go ahead and finish doing the rest of the stuff. Okay, all of my players are on the field. Looking good. Now, we are going to add handles to these skewers because I don't want you guys to get hurt. Um, and it's just nicer to have something to hold better, uh, grasp better with. So here, for the pointy ends, we can use like the binder clips like this. And this will help you hold it like this and it really clamps it together so you're good here now we can also use wheels put and poke them like this so whatever your preference is go ahead and add something okay we are almost ready um you were probably wondering, why do you have a hole on this side? That's probably because we need to make the goal. I'll show you how I, you can make a goal here. Um, so I went ahead and did the other side, I'll show you right now. So a lot of the shoe box, you can open it like this, right? And it has two flaps, Oops. two flaps like this. So we're gonna make some cuts. First, we are going to cut this part, this flap off first. So taking this flap, we are going to cut half. So forget this flap, but using this square, I mean rectangle, cut the cardboard in half this way. So we're gonna keep this with the flap. Now taking these flaps, you are going to cut halfway like that. Do the same thing to this side. And you can go ahead and remove the extras. So now you're left with these. And remember this flap? You are going to place them however you want, but secure them like this. And you can staple them. So you're gonna staple this side, um, so staple right there, and staple this side as well. Yay, you got some openings now. Oops. You have your opening, and you have your soccer players. Last thing is making the ball. So it's really nice if you have a ball. Any kind of ball will work. The lighter would be better. 
um, but I'm going to show you how to make a paper ball. So you can take any kind of construction paper, you can take newspapers, you're just going to rip some portion out, it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be nice. Go ahead and crumble it up. Nice and circle. And yes, you can play like this, but there's a chance that this paper can be undone. And so what we are going to do is use rubber bands and start wrapping it around. Right? Now it's more secure. Um, this one is a little lopsided, but the one that I made previously um, is more cir circular like this. And you can go ahead and drop it in your box. So, the ball would go in. You can make this move like this. You can move it this way to block it in. Um, so, that's how you make tabletop soccer games. So, start thinking about different ways that you can improve this. Um, you don't have to follow my exact instruction. Maybe think about how it'll affect if you put more players on the same skewer. So maybe like two players, one player. Is that going to affect the game? Um, think about how to decorate the box to make it your own style. And um, as I mentioned, kind of wonder what other materials or tools can you use to make your handles. I hope you enjoyed the process. Make sure to um, bring your family members or your siblings to play with and then uh, have fun. So thanks for sitting with me through the process and see you, see you guys later. Bye!